can't help falling in love with me, I can't help falling in love with photography. Welcome to Dublin, home of 1.5 million people and growing. Today we're going to look at street photography in the Irish capital. So sit back, relax and enjoy. So what is street photography? Well, for me, it's capturing that moment. Capturing that moment in the street of people with interesting faces, characters, that interesting scene. It could be an old man sitting in the pub, the rays of light coming through the window. Basically, it can be anything. People walking across the bridge at night. You know, just every time you take a picture, your camera's like a time machine. Once you take that picture, that's it. You'll never capture that scene again, no matter how hard you try. And do you prefer to take your shots in colour or black and white? As far as I'm concerned, from the moment you're conceived and you become conscious, everything you see in your life is all in colour. You're saturated with colours all the time. I prefer to go black and white. It's something different. I think it's a bit more creative and it causes you to focus on the image, the subject, rather than all the multitudes of colours coming in colour can work well and in most cases when it comes to street art you need the colour they don't look as good in black and white but I'm going to mainly focus on the black and white shots I have here Now this type of shot is one that I jokingly call a pub trait, not a portrait. It's a portrait you take in a pub of an interesting character. Usually it can be an old guy, but sometimes you get this young lad with a big bushy beard. This is an old neighbour of mine, Mark. Also, when you're out in the street, don't just look around you, looking forward, backwards, left and right. There's many a shots to be seen and taken from looking above. Take this for example, the robot, that's what I call it, it reminds me of one of Tim Burton's type characters. This is a lamp near the IFSC and Bus Iris in Dublin City and it looks like a robot with its arms hanging down. <laughs>
What is street photography? Well, you might be wondering, street photography, most people associate with being in a city center, taking pictures of people, taking pictures of pretty much everything around them. They're not doing landscape work. They're not doing portraits. But street photography, to me, is taking in your local environment. It's not just people. It's also your environment, local history, places of interest. And today I'm somewhere different. I'm not in Dublin city centre. I was in there on Saturday. I took some photographs and um, had a very enjoyable time. But today I am down at the Kilbarrick Road Cemetery to talk about something different. So today I have two cameras with me. I have my trusted Leica Deluxe Ray Barbie Special Edition. Absolutely love this camera. It shoots 4K video and it's 24 megapixel APS-C camera. I've also got this beautiful Olympus OM-10 film camera. It was given to me as a gift by someone in the golf club I work in because they'd upgraded to digital. And I was going to use it as a prop, but I decided to put a roll of film through it and see how it works. It's been 35 years since I've actually taken film photographs and I'm hoping this works and becomes full-time part of my camera bag because I absolutely love it. So this Olympus OM-10 has a 50mm 1.8 aperture lens with it. It's what's known as a prime lens and I just absolutely love all the manual controls of this. Manual focusing and you adjust it accordingly. Set your aperture in the aperture ring and snap your photograph. That sound of the old cloth shutter brings back so many memories. My first photographs were taken on film. I switched to digital to the Nikon D70 in 2004. Just finished taking my last photo on this Olympus. First test film and just rewinding the film. Some youngsters these days will probably never know the feeling of. And that's it. Switch the camera off, pop the back of the camera open. And that's my roll of film, all done. Now of course I'm going to show you some previous photographs of the area. Last time I was here, this place was completely overgrown. And you could barely make out this RAF tombstone. This is the type of thing that you normally wouldn't find if you did say landscape photography or music photography or portraits. I happened to come across this RAF gravestone in my local cemetery one day and I was quite surprised to see an RAF gravestone in the local cemetery. I used the flight engineers uh, army number and I got in touch with the Royal Air Force Society Ireland and did a bit of research. And there's a brilliant, interesting story how this guy is a descendant from Hote, from the waterside in Hote, and how he went over and joined the Royal Air Force. And basically there's a lot of history behind this particular tombstone. And it's just interesting to find this in a graveyard that's pretty much well known for uh, Republicans and Patriots here in Dublin, Ireland. Again, it's one of the brilliant things about street photography. You know, you don't necessarily have to get all the excellent shots in the city centre and at crazy festivals. Sometimes you can just go local and find hidden gems. Just try to get a nice picture of that. Black and white. God, when I was a youngster, probably eight or nine years old, we'd go past this graveyard on the bus. I used to be terrified of this tombstone.